It's been called Al-Qaeda's most dangerous branch. Al-Qaeda and the Arabian Peninsula, or its leaders, have been linked to some of the most well-known terrorist attacks of the last two decades. The group operates amid the chaos of Yemen's civil war, but its influence extends far beyond the country's borders. To understand AQAP and its motivations, we must go back to the 1980s. Back then, Yemeni men were on the front lines in Afghanistan against the Soviet Union. That's where they fought alongside other Arab fighters, including Osama bin Laden, and learned to wage war against a superpower. These fighters returned to Yemen and formed organizations to spread their interpretation of Islam and battle the West. Yemeni President Ali Abdullah Saleh helped empower them, using them to fight his rivals during a civil war in 1994. After the first Gulf War, the U.S. increased its presence in the region. In response, Osama bin Laden called for an open war against America. Affiliates followed orders. October 2000, in the port city of Aden. A small boat packed with explosives detonates alongside the USS Cole. 17 Marines died. September 2001. Terrorists strike the World Trade Center and the Pentagon, killing thousands. February 2006, in Sana'a, Yemen's capital. 12 convicted Al-Qaeda militants are among 23 inmates who escaped from a prison. Among the militants, Nasar al-Waheshi, a personal bin Laden aide, and a suspected planner of the coal bombing. Today's AQAP was born a few years later when the Yemen al-Qaeda branch merged with one in Saudi Arabia after a crackdown in the kingdom. The group used YouTube videos, social media, and glossy online magazines to spread its message. Articles showed how to make a bomb in a kitchen and listed soft targets in the US. It inspired lone wolf attacks. The magazine was the work of Yemeni-American Anwar Alalaki, AQAP's religious ideologue and recruiter. He was later killed in a US drone strike. November 2009, an army major who had communicated with Alalaki killed 13 people and injured more than 30 others in the attack. A passenger aboard a Christmas Day flight failed to detonate explosives hidden in his underwear. January 2015, two brothers with links to AQAP killed 12 people in the attack on the French satirical magazine. The Obama administration used drones to attack the group as its leaders plotted more attacks against the West. Top commanders and a religious leader have been among those killed. Still, the group endures amid the raging civil war.